Okay. So, yeah, I was just going to say, we talking, um, I know uh, we got the little Luga kids involved, so um, let's just mute the phones um, if somebody else is talking, you know what I'm saying? So we'll, we'll, we'll just say whatever we want, and then, you know, the next person can speak, you know what I mean? All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So um, I guess we could kind of like introduce ourselves. Um, I'm Cam D and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you guys go ahead and uh, and introduce yourself and stuff. What's up? This is uh, Fearless TV. I got a YouTube channel. You guys, you guys all know my YouTube channel. You guys know that I be dropping fire back to back. Me and Candy, you know, you know, pretty much. Cool, cool. All this right. is yeah, and this is Milky Smooth. Um, I'm new to the game, to the video game. Um, I have YouTube channel, but that was focus on music, but, you know, I have a different color where I need to express my myself and get the truth out. So, yeah, what's good? Awesome. All <laughs> right. So um, I guess there's no really, like, moderator to this, you guys. I mean, it's really just going to be a round table and just kind of, like, kicking stuff back and forth, I guess, um, for a little while. So just freestyle it and, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, wh whatever you guys want to speak on, let's speak on it. Nothing's off limits. If we're going to talk about the bang, bang events that are completely staged and fake, then let's, let's use that, like, the little code names and stuff like bang, bang. You know what I mean? Like, if that's what you want to do. Because I, I know how the algorithms, I know they pick up on that. Kind of stuff. So I'm just putting that out there, too. Um, so, yeah, you guys, what, what was, like, maybe I'll, I'll ask you, uh, fearless, what was, like, one of the, the, the things that kind of, woke you up like what was what was that moment you know what i mean you know man pretty much i'm not gonna lie man what really woke me up you know i, I mean i was pretty much awoke before back in 2018 but not as woke as i am now so 2019 is what really did it for me you know especially with the nipsey hustle situation man that right there was really an eye opener you know and like i said that was way before i was aware of the mass technology and i was aware of you know celebrities playing multiple roles and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, pretty much. So yeah, and then uh question. And then for for me, I'll say for me, bro, like it was more of um I think how should I say this? I wanna say it started in two thousand sixteen for me. Like I started looking at, you know, flat earth and all that kind of stuff and I was like, man, like I always knew like in the back of my mind, I always knew that like, something was wrong with this society. And I'm like, you know, innately, I just felt like, man, something, something's not right. You feel me? And, and, and then finally, I looked at Flat Earth, and that started to make sense. And, you know, you jump down those different rabbit holes, and then those, the, the bang, bang event that happened in Orlando, that's when I woke up. Because I actually watched that firsthand, and I said, wow, that's like, they're actually doing that. You know what I mean? So that was kind of like my moment in time of, of, of when I woke up. Because I, I got to see the script being played out in real time, you know? Right, 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 yeah. yeah. So, yeah. And then, um, I don't know, what about you? Uh, uh, what what'd you think, man? What, what was, like, the first thing that kind of that kind of brought, you know, like, that, that did it for you? Well, it's, it's hard for me to pinpoint it because I'm a, I'm a researcher by nature. Um, like I'm, a, I'm an observer, of, of investigator. I like to learn, so that's always what I've been doing ever since I could remember. Since I could get on the internet, I was always just looking up questions, trying to find out things, um, um, especially on the spiritual side, because that that um, my, mystical things that mystify me, um, I'm always attracted to that type of stuff. Um, but throughout my years, my research has just kind of shown me where the um where the truth was you know um but i can never really pinpoint exactly what it was that helped break down this society um so with me it started with um the bible right but then from the bible i rejected that bible and i went to into religions studying different religions like buddhism islam um jainism uh dharma karma anything that i could that was spiritual even the baha'is the Baha'is had a really big impact on me, um, teaching me about community life and things like that. Um, and then I went into, um, then I was an atheist, 
um, be, you know, agnostic. Um, then it started to get into aliens, started studying space, got into space really heavy. Uh, my mom even took me to the JFK Space Center, which was really cool. I really enjoyed that. But I know all that is fake now um, because, <laughs> yeah, because uh, with doing all my research, I started worship, I started studying the enemy, which is Satan. Started reading satanic books, started looking at the Masonic Order, started looking at occult stuff, started looking at anything I could get my hands on, you know, just trying to wrap my head around this world and what's going on spiritually. Um, and that's a lot of things, but flat earth, like, you know, well, 9-11, and I started getting into conspiracy theories. I got tired of the spiritual side, so I went to look more at the, you know, what's going on in the world. I learned about 9-11, then I learned about the moon landing, then I learned about this, and learned about that. Um, nature, you know, nature is a very beautiful thing to study. Uh, and flat earth was always in the background, you know? Like, it'll always be, like, in those, in the list, you know, like, uh, what's it called, relevant videos. But I would never click on it because I always thought it was dumb. You know, like, flat earth is dumb. I would never click on it. And then one day, after I was studying some Moorish stuff about Moorish Americans, uh, the flat earth video was there. And I was like, I was bored. I was like, let me just click on it. You know, I'm getting tired of seeing these videos. Well, and then, hold on, hold on, Milky, 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 what's Milky. Up? Hold on real quick. Hey, I'm kind of hearing, like, it's kind of like an echoey kind of sound from, from your end. I don't know if you're hearing that, Fearless, but it's kind of like sounding like a, like, kind of like, yeah, like, I could phone, like you hear that. Away. Oh, something like far away? Yeah. Okay, hold on. All right, all right. Yeah, so I don't know, I don't know, but... Go ahead, can, can, you, hear, can you hear me okay? All right, can you, can you hear? Yeah, yeah I'm back. I can hear you. Yep, we can definitely hear you now. Okay, I was wearing Bluetooth headphones, so I guess that'll work. But um, I'm, I'm not trying to dry this out. But, you know, I clicked on Flat Earth, and that's, that's basically when that, – that takes me to this point now. That's the most recent stuff that had kind of changed my world because I didn't even know that the world could be flat. Um, and then I realized that it actually – that makes a lot more sense than it being around. And then that took me to basically um, the, the celebrity stuff, you know, looking at celebrities and how Hollywood is fake. And um, I didn't know that people would act like that, but, you know. I found Cam B. He was he was the last um, person that had kind of got me into this stuff. So that's where I'm in now. You know, that's how I got here. Awesome, dude. I mean, and that's what um you know the thing about the thing about what we're doing right now, you guys. Um, it's important because I feel like we're we're kind of they don't want us to join, right? They don't want us to communicate with each other, and it's going to be interesting to me to see what happens. Because one of my main points um, with this conversation is to let people know that they need to make their own videos right now. And a lot of people are on the fence about a lot of things, but I understand that. But the most important thing I want people to do is to make a video because they don't want us doing that. And when I look up, you know, and, I'm, and we're taking down a kill the MC, hot kill, um, we're going to take him down. And what what I mean by that is um, we're going to take the facade away. We are going to break that paradigm for people so that they can understand, you know, that we're really being lied to every day, you guys. And and the, the Tupac thing, people want to say, oh, well, can't be, you're so, you're, you're obsessed with Tupac. You're, you know, get off of him. I'm telling you guys right now, anybody saying that, um, that's your job. Your job is to take it easy on them. My job is to expose this to every single person in the world until the, the truth is, is completely said and done. Because we never stood a chance to these lies, you guys. Okay? So I need your help. And every time I look up and I try to search a kill the MC, I don't see anything except coming from me, Fearless TV, or Sunlight Fly, Milky Smooth. Right? It's like there's nothing else, you guys. Nothing. And, and and I'm just right now it's like, damn, like why we gotta take the heat for us? Like you're we're we're laying it down for you guys so you guys can come through the door and do your thing. You know what I'm saying? And so exactly. that that's just how I feel on it, bro. I 
Yeah, but something that you speak on it, um, you know, Milky, do you, by the way, Milky Smooth, do you want to go by Milky Smooth or uh, Solo My Fly? Which one do you prefer? Uh, I I honestly prefer the Milky Smooth because that's the that's the one I've been with um, for the longest. That's my my okay. roots. The Solo My Fly is more more of my rapping um, like expression feel. It's my okay. my yeah. So I, Milky Milky. Milky, all right. So yeah, cool, cool, cool. I just want to make sure. Um, again, yeah, like Milky. Oh, um, real quick, I just want to say, um, we just met. I just met Milky today, basically on the phone. So, and and I know what kind of mindset he's in, and that's why I contacted you, Milky, because I know that you can see, and you are imperative to this movement, bro. And I'm just gonna let you know that, man. We respect you, mm-hmm. and we 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 open our arms to to you, um, to help to help us with this. Yeah. So, um, fearless, fearless, um, go ahead and speak, speak up. Yeah, and just like, uh, you know, what you were saying about people making videos, like, all the subs we got, man, we really need, like, if we can, like, at least get a hundred of these people to start making videos, like, I don't think people realize how much that would actually help. Like, we actually need people to make these videos, and I understand it's a lot of people that are scared, because I'm not going to lie, when I first got into this shit, I was afraid to make a video. I'm not gonna lie, but you know what? I said, "Fuck this bullshit," and all people lie. So I said, "You know what?" 2019 is when I decided to start making videos. You know, and one of my first videos I made was I killed the MC is Tupac. Made that video, I think like seven or eight months back or whatever. But yeah, I killed the MC is definitely Tupac. And for all the people that's having doubts about this stuff, you know what? Just start doing some research, and like you say, don't take our word for it. You know what I'm saying? Just do some research. Look at the coincidences. Look at the people he's around, and just you know what I'm saying. Just, just start putting all this stuff together. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. I mean, um, it, it was hard for me, and and um, I don't know where this conversation is going to go, you guys. So, and to anybody that's going to be listening to this, uh, I, I do apologize cool. if this is like all over the place. Um, so. You know, right now, what, what's hot right now is the whole Achille MC bullshit that's going on, and we know who he is, and we're calling him out. So that's going to kind of, I'm, I'm focusing a little bit on that, but I definitely want to touch everything um, on this conversation. So um, I forgot what I was already going to say. Uh, Milky, did you want to add anything? Um, I just want to say, man, I'm honored like that, you know, that I can be a part of this, especially at this early stage, you know, because I see that it really is, the beginning, um, um, even though there's other people that have caught wind of this type of thing, because I have um, seen that, you know, Universal had been doing this for a little while. But the thing is that she wasn't really trying to put it out there like that. You know, she was just making videos. So this is really the beginning, guys, of, I would say, a revolution. Um, we're we're going to break down. This is 2020, so we're unveiling, like, literally, this stuff is real, guys. Like, when we, when we talk about like the age of Aquarius and, you know, spiritually people are going to wake up. Like this is really going to happen. Um, but we have to put in the work and it's not going to happen without us, you know? So that means that each individual has to do their part, um, to share their truth. Um, because that's the only way that we're going to, we're going to know, we're going to be aware. Oh, yes, for sure, bro. Um, you know, and, and I was going to say too, it's not too uh, for everybody to join in on this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this is, we, we need way more of you guys. And I made a, I made a video saying that, you know, uh, it was labeled excuses. That's what I titled it. And I titled it excuses because we're tired of hearing about them, you know? And I understand you guys. Somebody that doesn't want to put your name up there. You don't want to put, you know, a, a number, your information, you're scared, you're going to get docs. A lot of you guys are scared to do it. But I'm telling you, for those of you who have come to this point where you realize there's nothing to be scared of, like, it's kind of, it kind of reminds me of this, right? So when it comes to the Akil being Tupac, um, we were put on this path. We were put on like a road, like let's uh, envision like a really long highway, right? Now, that's going to be your journey to find Tupac and where he is. That long ass stretch of highways where you got to go, right? Bro. Now, now, hold on. Now, so, so you got to go down this long fucking road. That, that, that thing's probably going to take years, decades to finish and find Tupac, right? Now, what we're saying is along that highway, you have exits to get off on, right? There's a bunch of exits between 
U and the end of this highway. The problem is that Tupac was also the first exit. You missed the exit. It was the first exit you ever saw. That was Tupac. Now you pass that up and you're way down the line. You're going to be going on that road forever. Okay. You're never going to find him now because you missed the very, very first exit. He was right in front of your face the whole time. Yeah, true. Yep. Pretty much, man. Man, I feel bad for a lot of these people, man. Because, you know, these people go spend the rest of their life, unfortunately, man, trying to search for a man that's right in their face, man. You know? It's just sad, man. It's true. And and you know what? Um, I don't know who else is going to be doing um, videos. And like I said, we really want people to step up and do something. Uh, But I don't know who else is. But if you do... Prom- I promise you this, I will support it. I will, I'll have people sub to it, and I'm going to get you views, whatever. Whatever you want to do this for, I don't care. We just want the truth out. Um, and then uh, what do we have? Uh, oh, Fearless, is that is, you got a, a, a damn smoke detector going off? What's going on? I don't know what the fuck that was, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even hear that shit, bro. You're talking no, about no, that no, loud, no, no. high-pitched beep? No, no, no. It, if you want, just uh, just mute, mute, make sure you guys are uh, muting your phone if you can, okay? Just yeah. if you're, if, um, if you're not you, uh, hear anything right now, do you hear any feedback from, from my uh, part? Nah, no, don't hear anything. You want to hear no feedback? Okay. All right, cool. Yeah, no, you you good. I'm just saying, and sorry, you guys, for all the, the viewers. This is amateur hour. We don't know what the fuck we're doing right now, but you know what? We're going to get it done, man. This is the very first time we did this, so this is a, a learning experience for everybody. But, um, yeah, action is, yeah, is the most important thing, man. Just taking a step. That's exactly. exactly. Yeah. I mean, and, and that's the thing. You gotta, you gotta be able to just put your foot out there. We're, we're basically saying like we're in the pool right now. We're swimming and we're telling you, Hey, the water's fine. It's warm. There's no sharks in here. You're not going to, you know what I'm saying? We're it's telling you right now. But yeah, we're just saying the water's fine. Come on in and join us because we need to push this. You guys, Akil thinks that we can, can silently. He, here's the thing. He he thinks that. Well, he wants people to think that um, it's just me and Fearless TV out here who think that. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he's Tupac. He wants it to seem like we're the only ones in the whole world. Well, you know, I'm here to tell you that there's no way in hell he's going to stop all of us. Okay. Keep that in mind. Um, now, I was talking to uh, what was, what was, uh, Milky. I was talking to you, you know, today, and, and I was just thinking about a lot of stuff, man. Like, how, what, what was um, about the masks, right? Because they don't want us talking about masks. So, are you? Um, do you know how they how what where we're coming from as far as like the mask technology, like how it used to be really bad in the '90s, maybe '80s and '90s. And it's gotten progressively better over the years. Like, do you, you see what we're saying? Yeah, yeah, I've definitely seen that because um, it's a lot. It's a lot easier to tell who uh, who is who. The people that are, you know, like kind of like a decade ago, even two decades ago, those people are a lot easier to tell. Like, for example, Michael Jackson and, and Dave, Dave. You know, like that that stuff is easy because it's like. It's, they, I don't know what, what was going on, but it's like they weren't really trying that hard. But the ones that are today, it's, um, it's a lot harder to tell. But you can still tell, but it's, it's it looks so fluid and it looks so seamless that you you would be scared to say that that's not, that, that you know, that that is a disguise. Because you don't want to offend the person, you know. You don't want to be wrong. But the thing is that we're telling you that it is a mask, but you just got to figure out how, how, how does it work. How, do you, how can you see it with your own eyes? Yeah, definitely. I mean, because for me, what I did was um, I broke down the uh, Tyler Perry, uh, who was it? So Tyler Perry being Will Smith. And in that video, um, I showed, I circled it. Um, there's dead giveaways about the mask when it comes to, like, the, the inner part of the eye where you're, like, right around your eye near the bridge of your nose. Like, if you were to take your thumb and your index finger, right, and, and pinch your eyes like that, and right there, um, right at the bridge of the nose, that's where the mask is. You can see it. It, it. it stretches, and it's hard for people to understand that. But that's actually, that's not natural. In real life, people don't have that piece of, <laughs> like, a flappy skin hanging off. That's that's the mask. And on some characters, it's really good. It's seamless. And on uh, others, you can see it right away. So I don't know. I don't know if they're going to be correcting that song. 
uh, it, you know, especially with like HD footage and all that kind of stuff. So I don't, I don't know, but we'll see what happens. You know what I mean? Um, I think, I think with the photos that we have online, um, probably I'm at the point where I've, I've looked at so many different pictures that I can tell Google will fuzz and they'll fudge up a lot of these photos that you look up. And it's funny because I, 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 I can tell that right away where they won't load all the way to be a little bit blurry. Um, they do that on purpose because they're, they're hiding a lot of things. Guys. So I don't know. I don't know. If you got yeah, I'm that. glad. I'm, gl- I'm glad you said that can be like, that's one thing I noticed a lot too, man, with these Google images, man, it seems like a lot of those images don't even load up, man. It's like, it's, it's like, it's hard to exactly. find those people. Man, you know what I'm saying? Because like I made a video before in the past uh, saying that KRS One played the is uh, playing the role of this Me Too founder that goes by the name of Toronto Burke. And nigga, when I was looking up, bro, <laughs> images, bro, 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 that shit sound funny as fuck, but that's actually the case though, bro. That's that nigga yeah. bro, in a disguise, bro, wearing the fucking mask, bro. But it, that shit took me a while to find HD pictures of Toronto Burke, bro. I, I believe I spent like at least like two or three hours looking for pictures of Toronto Burke, bro. So, yeah. Hey, I just want to say, it too, that's dedication right there. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Exactly, bro. Like, people don't understand, like, when, you, when you're looking for these pictures, that shit takes, takes hours to do, man, sometimes, man, because it's like, no, it'd be hard to find sometimes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's terrible, man. Um, You know, I remember when I first uh, dropped that, that Justin Bieber is the weekend video. And, oh, that, that was so blatant, man. No, it was terrible. And you know what's crazy? Um, there's clearly there are no interviews. Zero interviews of the weekend. There are zero interviews of the week I mean maybe one. maybe two, three, maybe four at the most. Bro, but, but it's only one interview, bro. One interview <laughs> in a dark room. In, in a dark ass room, bro. <laughs> Yo, I haven't even realized yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It's the only interview of the weekend is like it's this super weird, dumb interviewer. And they're in a dark, like a dimly lit studio. <laughs> I mean, come on. Bro, and then you listen, man, and you listen to him talk, and it's the same exact voice as Justin Bieber. It's the same voice. Bro, the exactly. weekend's always oh, been yeah. suspicious. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go, go ahead. Uh, oh, okay. Jay, I was just saying that... Uh, the, uh, uh, oh. Hey, Travis, you can go, go ahead. Bro. You want me to go? I was just saying, like, it's, 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 it's obvious as fuck that Justin Bieber plays the role of the weekend. Like, you, you can hear it in the fucking voice, man. And, like, come on, man. Why is this nigga always covered the fuck up? When do people ever have a picture with the shirt off, man, you know? It's like, man, this shit is obvious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, white, white, pale-ass hands, man. Come on, bro. Yeah. Don't even <laughs> match the rest true. of the skin. No, not even the at all. Um, Wait, uh, Milky, what were you saying now? I'm sorry. Oh, I was, um, yeah, the weekend's always been suspicious of me. Even when he first came out, when, like, just think about it. How did how did the weekend come out? How did he get popular? He got popular from Drake, right? He, yeah. got, he got popular because he did a feature with Drake, and people liked the weekend. It was like, who's the weekend? And he did more songs with Drake, and all of a sudden, the weekend is doing his own stuff now. He just came out of nowhere, really. Honestly, he just came out of nowhere. Yeah. And I didn't. That well, was always suspicious what, to me. Exactly, bro. And guess what? His fans didn't even know how he looked until he did his first concert, bro. So they didn't. They didn't even know how this dude looked, bro. Yeah, exactly. I no, didn't even know no. how he looked. But he just. I just yeah, knew he was this dude with a high pitched voice. He was a guy with a high pitched yeah, voice yeah. that sings with Drake. Here, here's my thing, though. So what are they doing for this? For the um, for his songs? Are they using whose voice are they using? Or is that like? Oh, and Kind of like a little bit in some in some songs, bro. Yeah, yeah. Because a lot of people say that that's Michael Jackson's voice that they're actually using for the weekend. Oh, that would actually and, make a and, lot of sense. Yeah, no, and and, 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 and white. Yeah, exactly. Exact. Oh my God, <laughs> no, that was sick. Wait, what did you say? No, because like you, you know, Michael Jackson like black and white, right? <laughs> And no, there he yeah. is. There's the character. You have your black weekend and white Bieber. And that, the weekend always the, the weekend always says that his his biggest inspiration is Michael Jackson. That's where he gets his musicality from. Is Michael Jackson? So yep, yep. That exactly. makes a lot of sense. Because he did that. And I want to interview. <clears throat> see, see, because this is what happens when you have a think tank of of like minded thinkers with different perspectives. Like this is what happens right now. That was a breakthrough. 
Because I never even put that together, man. That's incredible. Wow. No, bro, not only that, bro, bro, if you look at the weekend picture, bro, from like back when you had that stupid ass dread thing going on, bro, bro, why the fuck was that dread thing shaped like a goddamn beaver tail, bro? You know what I'm saying? You get it like Justin Beaver, Beaver, with like a beaver on his fucking head. Like, yeah. This whole thing is like, bro, this whole thing is like a joke, bro. That's what it is. Bro. And he had an obelisk on his head, too, because it went straight up. He had one of them go straight up. Oh, you're right. Exactly, bro. God oh, damn, bro. Yeah, that's so. It's it, it just so obvious, bro. Man, it, it, but I mean, look, but look, this is this is what they're doing to us, you guys. And so, you know, I want this is an, again. I hope that we can have many conversations, you guys, because this is like um, we need to show people that we are sane. We're not crazy. We're not drug addicts. We're not uh, bad fathers. We're not idiots, we're not morons or dumbasses or retarded, and we're not children. We, we have the same minds, and we're actually thinking outside of the, the box right now. And I want people, I want as many people to hear hear this as possible, because we're, we're, we're intellectuals at the end of the day, and, and we're just having a conversation, and we're putting this together. We are, I don't know how many years, decades, centuries behind we are, these guys, but, you know, we're going to make up some ground. You know what I'm saying? And and, and, and on our watch, I think that that's, that's what we got to do, you know? Exactly, bro. That's yeah. Me, bro. Yeah, man. So, right. yeah, but, um, but, so, okay, so let's, 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 uh, let's jump on it because this is, we got to discuss the hot topic, the elephant in the room, right? So that's going to be Takio, Kill the MC, all right? So, but he doesn't want, like I said, he doesn't want more people. The, the whole thing of why he's doing damage control, you guys, is because he cannot, he's okay with us knowing this, okay? So Tupac, a.k.a. Achille DMC, he is okay with us knowing. Mean, fearless, um, uh, milky, uh, conscious daughter, all these, all, everybody, all the shout-outs in the comments, you know, of course. But he's okay with us knowing. But he does not want is our new people stumbling across this, okay? So that is why there's so much damage control that you're seeing right now, and he's coming out with complete lies. He's paying off certain people to say certain things and make up stories about all of us. And exactly, that's, bro. That's, why, that's why you're seeing the damage control. And, and um, Milky, I know that you saw that, and, you know, I think that that's what kind of, like, did that kind of spark something in you, just seeing the amount of, like, reaction that we're getting right now? Yes. Um, you talking about to start making videos? Well, no, no. I mean, yeah, but, I mean, just because I want to I wanna focus a little bit right now on a kill. We need to get mm. this out of the way. So, I mean, so, a kill, the reason why I, I like focusing on kill because, um, to me, he was, he was one of the easiest ones to spot because as soon as I saw a kill, I was like, bruh, you know, <laughs> like, like it was like, yeah. yo, it's, it's over. Different. It's, it's different for certain people. Some people can see it right away. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But, like, but like for me, it took me like a few, a few months to see it. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Mm. It took me a few months, but it's definitely him, bro. Mm. No, yeah, like for for me too, it took me like I want to say probably, I don't know, I, I would say probably about two, three, two weeks maybe. Mm. You know. And, and that's when I was able to see it. His disguise is meant so that you do not look, like, his, his disguise is set up so that you look at him, you take a glance, and you say, hell no, and you keep going. Mm -hmm. Bro, exactly, bro. And it's them dreads on his head that's throwing them off, bro. And if you look at his face, bro, bro, like, his face doesn't even look natural, bro. It just looks like, bro, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it, it just looks like you had surgery or something, bro. It don't look natural to me, bro. It don't. Yeah. The thing that gives it away for for me though is the eyes. That that's that's what kind of broke it down oh, for me yeah, because I studied because I was a you know I was a Tupac fan. I studied Tupac and then I studied the the Seven Day Theory, the Machiavelli stuff. I was rooting for him to come back 2014. You know, I was saying Tupac for president and all that stuff. But th it was the eyes because I know Tupac's eyes. Like he has such distinct eyes and the and, and the shape of his head yeah, too. Definitely. Yeah, and um. And it's also the shape of his head, like, and then when he, when he's, when he's, like, walking, I, I could tell that uh, Akil was short, too, so when I saw that he was short, that was even more confirmation yeah. that he was Tupac, it was just, I was just yeah. like, oh, the, the dreads are obviously a disguise. Yeah. 
and um, so, the, yeah, the so, shape so of the head quick. too. Well, yeah. Okay. So how do you guys? So this is what I always get about the uh, the Akil stuff, right? So people always hit me up and they're like, "Hey, can uh, we haven't you seen the footage of of Jurassic Five back in the '90s? They were performing." Let me ask you guys. What now? I know that that's clearly all fake, right? What is your perspective on how and like what they're doing with those videos? It's like because it, it's clearly not real. It, it's not authentic. So what, I just want to get your guys' perspective on it. Man, to be honest with you, man, that shit looks so funny to me, bro. And if you look at those little videos that supposedly from 1995, 94, bro, why the fuck is the crowd so empty, bro? And you said this before, bro. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Where's the, where's the, the audience at? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Falling in front of an empty ass crowd, bro. It look grown as hell, too, doing it. I'm like, yeah. bro, this is supposed to be from the 90s. You know, look grown as hell, performing in an empty ass audience. I'm like, man, this is. Bad, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Milky, what do you think about that? Like, is it? Do you think that? Do you think that it's like, oh yeah, we uh, we really filmed this back in the day? Do you think they actually filmed it back in the day as those characters, or do you? Because I'm under the impression, I kind of think that they just recently went back and, and had to film that. You know what I mean? Because they look like they like Akil's head. He has a bald head in this, and it, he looks like one of the Conehead members from the movie Coneheads. Like yeah. it didn't even look real. And nothing, <laughs> nothing, nothing looked authentic about Akil's bald head at all. It looked like he was wearing a bald cap. It was, yeah. it was scary looking. Yeah, so I, I don't know. Like, what do you, what do you think? Yeah, I definitely um, felt like it was fake when I when I saw it. But at the same time, like I'd be I'd be thinking about what could be, um, and they they could have because they do plan ahead. Like we have we have evidence that they do plan ahead and they do play these characters for years because they plan that okay. I'm going to play this character, so I need to practice being this character as I'm this other character so that when it gets time to bring this other character out, I already got it down packed, you know? So right. it, it, it could be possible that they that, that it was old footage, but that, that one was just, it just looked a little too, like, you know, it didn't look authentic, just a little um, yeah. Yeah, staged. And, 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 um, right. And, and you listened to, the, uh, to, the, to that uh, Wired Up TV interview that Akil was just on. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. I'll give my perspective. I know uh, subs, everybody knows how I feel about that. But, I mean, I just want to kind of put it out there. So, um, you know, Fearless, what, why don't, what was your reaction? Because, you know, reaction videos are big. So <laughs> maybe we should just do a reaction <laughs> video. But, but what, what's, like, what's your reaction to seeing uh, that, that uh, you know, that interview to looking at a kill the MV? Oh, I loved it, bro. I loved it, bro. I loved it, bro. Because, bro, the fact that you're getting so much reaction to this shit, bro, just, you know what I'm saying? It pretty much confirms that everything we've been talking about is true, bro. And, you know, I listened to that whole interview when the kid was just, you know, pretty much lying his whole ass off, saying he met Tupac, you know, saying he's seen Tupac three times and met him one time. I mean, like, dude, do you guys really believe that shit? He said he met him, right. he said he met him back in 89. Right, Come on. right. Before, right. Before, I, I mean, he, I, Listen, listen, people lived their entire life through the 90s and grew up in the thick of that shit, and nobody ever had the opportunity to meet Tupac. But he just happened to see this fool three times. Okay, yeah, all right, all right, for sure. Yeah, it doesn't um, seem like Tupac would be the one to be walking around like that, you know, just acting like no, a normal person. <laughs> exactly, and think about this. Think about this. What would be the odds of a nobody walking into Tupac, having a conversation, you no, know, on the end on the elevator, ear hustling, a conversation with Tupac. Who would be the answer to that? Did that make any sense to go? Not, you know, and, well, here's, here's the thing. I think that he's saying that. I think he's doing that because it kind of, like, gives that 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 feeling of, like, well, I mean, why did, why would this guy ever make something like that up? You know what I mean? So it's like exactly. your, yeah. your, your average onlooker is going to be like, yeah, well, why would he make that up? Well, we're saying he's, he's basically just over-embellishing. Right, and he's he's basically telling on himself, um, and it's very obvious. Um, and so I just want people. Oh, and this is the main point again um, regarding Tupac. A lot of people are on my channel and leaving comments, which are great. I love the comment section, you guys. I really do. Okay, that's where the information comes from. But a lot of you guys, a lot of people, and especially your average person walking around in the matrix. They think that Tupac was actually a real person. And I found that that's, that's really the dividing line. 
we we over here on this side, we we know that Tupac was a fake Hollywood made up character, meaning that there was an actor that needed to play the role of Tupac on the world stage. You see what I'm saying? So that's what they did. They had an actor to play this role of Tupac, right? This gangster thug and all this kind of stuff, right? Um, the thing is, they needed to kill that character off as well, right? So for whatever reason, okay, they killed that character off. Well, the character died. Tupac died, right? on the world stage, but the actor that played him is still alive. And that's what we're saying is that the actor that played Tupac is going by a kill the MC today in Jurassic five. Um, something that I found hilarious, you guys was that Tupac or <laughs> Pac Hill, um, Pac Hill, he didn't say a damn thing about his other group members in Jurassic five. He, they barely, I mean, it was Todd on there saying, so do you, do you think that, uh, you know, do you think you're, you're too tough? Like, get the fuck out of here, Todd. You, you could be goddamn ashamed of you. No, I'm asking you That's what a good point. You. Are you too tough? <laughs> yeah. Wait, so, I mean, because cause it was just like, bro, like, come on, you guys. So, so it's funny. What He said, I, you can I, ask I, my I, family I, members, you can ask... You can, you know, go yeah. to my school, but he didn't say anything about the other members in his group. He didn't say anything about, like, other celebrity friends. Thing, bro. Yeah, no, yeah. So what, 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 what I'm saying is, though, what happened is, what Pac Hill does, he'll touch on the subject. Like, he knows what hot topic um, everybody's bringing up and all this proof and evidence that shows he is him. And he knows the topics, so he'll, like, barely touch it, and, and, and he won't go into it, though. You know what I'm saying? He'll just be like, oh, and, and, and motherfuckers think that that's Charlie Tuna, and, 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 and it, but he doesn't go into why. Yeah, he just like, acknowledges it and then tries to keep it moving. Exactly. And, and yeah. I don't know if he's heard, but, but when he was doing that interview, he was he was actually saying Tupac died in that interview. So he was pushing this info on that interview. Oh, yeah. And I don't know. Of course. Of course. You know, he's, he's, there, he's there to push. He, his only job right now is damage control, and he has to make sure no no new ears hear about this. He can't have new new eyeballs and new people, like, paying attention to this. And that's why I wanted to start the campaign, right, that we could be like, hey, hey, let's get you on Vlad TV, Pacquiao. Let's get you on Vlad, because I think that the whole world would love to hear you say that you're not Tupac. He will never do it. And, and if they do, I bet you if he gets on that show, they're going to disable the comments, because that's what, that's what Pacquiao did on his. So. I think I mean, it's... It, I just honestly think that would be cool, but I think it'll be a lot uh, more effective if we can get them on um, a channel isolated like you know, your channel or Philly's TV channel. Um, I agree. Yeah, I agree. because that'll be, I, I feel like that'll be way more effective. Yeah. Oh, um, that's, the, the, that's the problem is, is that I've approached Pacquiao about this multiple times now. He ignores me now when I tell him to come on and, you know, have a call with me. Um, so he, he'll ignore it. Or um, he'll just say, hell no, I don't, I don't trust you. Because Tupac, excuse me, Pacquiao, he came to L.A., I want to say a few months back, and I live out here in Long Beach. Yeah. So, um, you know, and, and this was just going off of, like, what we've talked about, too. Um, you know, it, it, it really all comes down to are you, are you, do you think that Tupac was a real person? You know, if so, then you won't be able to see this, right? Mm -hmm. So if you think that he was actually a real person like me and you getting shot at and shooting at police and all that kind of stuff, then, you know, there's going to be a problem because you won't be able to understand that he was a, there was an actor playing that role. So um, what were kind of like, what were kind of like some of the things that like stuck out to you, Milky, about like that uh, Wired Up TV interview? Because I'm just, I loved how you broke it down, but like what were like some of the big things that you took away from that? Like what did you, what did you get from that? The big thing from it, it just revealed to me how, how true it is that he is Tupac. And I think one of the biggest moments in it was when I caught him calling himself Tupac. All right, you're on back. You know? Oh, what up, Fairness? Back, yeah. Go, go ahead, Milky, go ahead. So the biggest thing for me is when I caught him, and I wasn't even trying to find it. I just, I don't know, something just, like, something just echoed in my head, and I was like, wait a minute, he just called himself Tupac, didn't he? 
I was like, wait a minute, let's go back. You know, I got excited. I was like, this is hard evidence right here. He's 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 admitting to to the audience. He's admitting, you know, because people slip up all the time. He's a human. But that's how the brain works. When you're lying, the truth is always going to come out. And that's what he was doing. Yeah. Like, you can tell throughout the whole video, he's he's not being authentic. He's not telling the truth. And he's always going for these weak-ass excuses. But then when it comes to something that's kind of personal, he's like, no, man, I didn't I didn't do, like, what are you talking about? I, wait, I, I thought you was a kill. You, you, did you, did you do something wrong? You know? So he, he feels guilty, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, he just comes off as a very guilty person. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, that's what we're here to do. We're just here to pick this whole thing apart. Um, because this is, again, I'll, I'll reiterate this, you guys, it's the biggest domino. If we could get Tupac to fall on this, like, that big of a domino, it's going to have such a massive effect. It's going to break people out of this spell. That they, they've been controlled and they're, they're being manipulated and lied to and deceived every day. Mm-hmm. And it's all it all comes back to materialism, you know? It's all done to get you put in jail, materialistic, you know, all this crap, basically, that they that they want you to subscribe to, politics, everything. So that's why I, I'm so um, invested in this Tupac character, because now this is going to, as a kid, yeah, I loved him, man. I loved Tupac. I, I wanted to be him and all that. And now I look at it like, why in the hell? was that person shoved in my face like that as a child. And even even adults, though, right? Even adults were, were, were uh, conned by him, by that Tupac character. Um, you know, and an, another thing is, uh, what does he love to do, Pacio? He loves to call us children. So he loves to call us kids, right? And he'll say, oh, you know, like, can't be as just a kid. You know, he don't even know. He's too young to even know what was going on. And my response to that is that it, it shouldn't matter if I'm five years old or 105 years old, Akil. Then that it doesn't matter. Um, Todd wanted to bring up the fact that he had 10 Tupac shirts. He's owned 10 Tupac shirts. Like, what does that have anything to do with what we're talking about? Exactly, bro. It's, it's fucking, excuse me, it's sad and it's pathetic. And don't, again, um, Milky, you, you spoke on it. Was that's like the low hanging fruit, you know, that they go for. So, so I mean, it's just yeah, and that's, but, uh, they easy. always go for it. Yeah, because they, they got nothing else yep. to hold on to. Lies are weak. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, they they can't they can't. It's just low hanging fruit. So it's like, of course, they're going to attack that. And and again, they're going to attack our character. They're going to attack who we are as as men, as people, as humans, before they ever attack our evidence and our proof and and what we're actually saying. They're going to talk about everything else except for that. And that's what needs to come through. So, um, fearless, what we were talking about when you were gone was just like, uh, what we saying, like, like, what did you really kind of like take away from, from that wired up, um, interview that Pac Hill did? Like, what were your, like, you know, main, main points that you got from that? Like, you know, I'm going to be honest with you, bro, man, it's, quite a few things I picked up from that interview and obviously a kill the MC wasn't being um truthful at all. He was lying to his fucking teacher and and it sounded it sounded like he was just trying to disguise his voice, man. Like he just wasn't being truthful, man. He was trying so hard to fucking disguise his voice. And just like you said, he's always he always has a guilty ass conscience, man, because he's a guilty ass person because he knows who he is, you know what I'm saying? And then you know how he was bringing up the fact that me and you were fucking um with fathers and stuff, saying some we're neglecting our children because we're making videos. I'm like, man, what the fuck? Like, yeah, what the fuck? yeah, right, right. It's like that don't, it's it's don't like, even it, make that don't make no type of sense. So you're saying we're neglecting our children because we're making videos exposing who you are. So that means we're neglecting our kids. I mean, yeah. man, come on, bro. It, it, it doesn't it, make any sense, bro. Yeah, and, and I don't know. I don't know your situation, Milky, when it comes to um, kids and all that, but, you know, for us, that's that's such a low blow that it's like that's how that's how low they're willing to, to go, you know, because it's like they'll attack anything and make anything up except for the truth. Like, and, and it, I mean, I was like, I, was, I got pissed when I heard that, bro. And honestly, it just, it just let me know, like, okay, so they think that we are going to be uh, taking time away from our kids to do this. Well, I have a question for you. Um, 
what else would you rather have us doing? Drinking a beer and watching football? Like, like watching the fake, watching the fake news. <laughs> watching that's fake exactly news, that's watching exactly news. what he wants us to do. Yes. <laughs> so it's like it's like wait a minute. No, 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 no. We have the time right now. Right now, I have time for this, and so do you guys. So we're gonna let him know that we ain't going nowhere. And and the the other thing is we're gonna be encouraging many other people to speak out about this. Because this is what they do to us, and this is what they do to the truth, man. It's our right now is our time, and we need to take advantage of it. Because I can see, I don't, I, I'm, I don't know how this is going to end up, but I can see um, uh, YouTube getting rid of us pretty soon, probably. You know, so yeah, bro. you know, because because I mean, at the end of the day, we could probably wake up tomorrow, and. Um, YouTube is like, oh, well, you'll, you'll tune on the news and it'll be like, oh, YouTube sold the company to a Chinese company and now there's no more YouTube. Like, you know, because that's, that's really the effect we're having. They're trying to minimize it. They're trying to make it seem like we ain't nobody. Um, but we're, we're, we're doing something. And, and, and it's because of, because of all y'all, because of you, um, Fearless and, and, and Milky and, and everybody out there that's, that's, that's willing to, yeah, bro. Out there. And like you were saying before, it can't be like this is he's supposed to be like a multi millionaire guy that's in a group to Rassy Files. Like you said, why is he so concerned about some conspiracy theories? Like why is he keeping tabs on us? You know what I'm saying? Why is he watching right. every fucking video we come out with? Why? Yeah. It's right about him. He As if he doesn't like, have anything he, else like, important to do. Like 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 bro, what the <laughs> fuck is he doing? Does she wanna say does she wanna say we neglecting our children? What is you doing? You sitting now watching all our videos, man. You watching them for a reason because you want to because because you know we know the truth. That's why you watching them, motherfuckers. He you needs know? to be getting ready for I mean, retirement. Well, no, that's so. No, here's the thing: this is his retirement gig. Like this is his like this is all their retirement gig. So, um, oh yeah, that's a good point. Now, you know what I'm saying? So like, uh, so what happened was what I found out was like shit really hit the fan recently, and I don't know what it was, but we we're trying to pinpoint it. Um, I think uh, Metro PCS, one of the uh, one of my subscribers, his name is Metro PCS. Um, I think that he was the one that kind of uh, spoke on it too. But I feel like it came down to when I called out um, DJ Newmark for being MCA from the Beastie Boys. Because um, we had found out, it, this is a journey, you guys. We're finding out new information every single day, right? And so, like, when we found out about March 7th being Easy e that was a breakthrough. So now we're able to put all these pieces of the puzzle together about Jurassic 5, the Dinosaur Boys, and we're able to see their previous characters. They brought all these rappers back from the dead, and they're putting them right back in your face again, right? And, and if you listen to any lyrics from Jurassic 5, just pick any song, and, and it's so cryptic. You could, you could just read it, and they're telling you exactly what they're doing in their lyrics, and it's going over everybody's head. It's going over everybody's head, bro. It's crazy. Yep, you got five dead legends, man. They brought them back, put them back on the stage, and you'll say, that's what they do, man. That's what they fucking do. Yeah, it's basically like they yeah. did their job. It was like, okay. And they're probably like, okay, guys, now you can go live your lives and be happy. You know, just be quiet. Yeah, like, this is like, like, like Can B said, this is really their retirement. And you know what I'm saying? Like, death thinkers, you know what I'm saying? They start over like me and you, you know what I'm saying? They just start back right. over, man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. so not every living, living a somewhat normal life, but. You know, they still got connections to Hollywood, though, definitely. De all Death Seconds got connections to Hollywood still. All of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, um, what, well, so I, I'm trying to leave out the family stuff because, you know, Pakil is going to claim the victim role, of course. And he's, oh, it can't be. He's talking like about he my did. family. Like, 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 bro, like, 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 you, like you did the interview, bro. He, 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 he brought up the fact that I, he said he said I put his mother in the video. I mean, I did it because some, one of my subscribers had sent me in and told me to look at it, and which I never said that that was a side of Shakur. I never said his mother was a side of Shakur. I was just putting it out there, you know what I'm saying? I was just right. testing a the theory. But he, but, he, right. but he played the victim and tried to make it seem like I was just dragging his mom inside there. Like, yeah, man, but when you drag my mom into it, man, that's when you piss me off. That's when you, you know what I'm saying? Woo, 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 man, you know? <laughs> yeah. No, come on. Just let it. It's like, come on, Akil. You're just going. It's again, like, like we're, we keep saying, it's the low hanging fruit, you guys. Every single time, is that that's the only stuff they go for, and it's childish. And we're calling it out now because we're tired of it, and we want people to wake up. Yeah. Um, and then your boy Danny, your boy Danny, 
you know, he he, he just act like he just cannot, he can't understand. Like, why would Tupac fake his death just to become another rapper? It doesn't make well, any sense to me, man. You know. So here's the, but but here's the thing, guys. Um, Danny, I don't know what his role is on Wired Up TV, but I think that his his, I think that he's still firmly. I think he believes that Tupac might have been a real person, and I think that's kind of hindering him. But the thing is, is that that whole channel now is ran by Akil. Because th- clearly, to me, if you ask me, Akil DMC paid that channel, those 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 uh, the, the people over there, Todd and Danny, they're paid off if they weren't already paid off from the get. But yeah. at this point, it's clear they have a bias. They will they, The whole channel for them is, hey, do not look at Akil DMC. We want you Bro. to search. We want you to stay on this long highway that we talked about earlier, right? We want you to stay on this highway and don't get off. At that, you know, you missed the that bro, so now you're stuck. And they and and realized in the um, in the interview, they never challenged the kill. Like they just they came like the whole thing was like, okay, kill, you paid us. Well, this is in my mind. This is what I was thinking. So like, okay, kill, you paid us. Here's your time to defend yourself. We're just gonna help you out and kind of you know, guide you and stuff like that, but you're going to do all the talking. They, did no, they didn't challenge him at all. They didn't ask him no tough questions. You know, they didn't pick no. him apart. They just no, let him say and, and, things and then agreed with it. Yeah, and, and how disrespectful was that, too, on top of all that? They're, oh, yeah, <laughs> disrespecting us and calling us all types of names. It's like we showed them nothing, but we go back to their their original interview that me and Fairly spoke on this channel. We didn't call them out. We, we, you know, we called them on that one time. We were certain respectful and patient with them. Yeah, but that's that, that call it names. Yeah, that right. just goes to so, show, man. I knew that shit was going to happen, too, man. Truth yeah. is self-evident. <laughs> yep. You don't need to, you don't need anything to, uh, to to prove. I don't have to prove any of this, bro. Like, the thing is, is like, you guys need to go look at it. You have to use your actual, your brain that was given to you and use it because we're telling you, you guys missed that first exit. The first exit was Tupac. He was there the whole time. You guys need to make a U-turn, come all the way back down that highway, and get back off on this exit because we found him. So um, what else is there to talk about besides him? But I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, I just well, can't I'll just go ahead know. and point you know, out that, that um, the character thing, um, you know, like uh, how they're attacking character and how, you know, we're not attacking character, that's another, that's another piece of evidence to pull from that people overlook, you know? Like people look up to kill so much, his fans and stuff, that they're they they're they're laughing along with him as he's insulting people. But you know the Bible says that we should be kind to each other. We should be patient with each other. You know, we should be helping each other out. You help thy neighbor. You know? The the thing about truth too is that you have to help each other find the truth. You can't tell somebody what the truth is. The kill's trying to tell us what the truth is. But he's not helping anybody get to the truth. You know? No, he's he's not trying to assist. Not at all. He just like f you guys. I'm this. You're dumb. Yeah, that's. I mean, his, their their whole argument is we're you're you're a dumbass. And then now you can see what he's doing, you guys. Um, he's trying to piece. He's trying to group group us all together and you know say that you and I Verso was the first one with this information. And you know, wh- okay, great. So Universal having that information and calling out. First of all, she was not the first person with that. If you actually look back about 10, 12 years ago um, in the comments that those Jurassic 5 guys were on in, in, on YouTube, people were calling out a kill over 10 years ago. So what, what, what that means is people have been knowing about this, but he needed to put a face on the people who knew about this. And that's where Universal came in. And he was able to pin it on her. And so now anybody that looks at this is going to be linked to her, okay? So, and again, no ill will towards her at all. I really hope she isn't out. I hope, you know. But, um, <laughs> you know, hey, it kind of seems that way, right? So um, that's kind of my thought on that. But that's what Akil's trying to do, basically. He's just trying to link us all to, you know, and, and, and try to say that, like, you know, oh, well, since you think that, this person is crazy, right? Then he's like, well, then all the information that she had is wrong. But no, because here's the thing. That information could have been, um, could have been uh, a dog 
barking that can speak, right? <laughs> like a cartoon dog saying Tupac is the kill. It doesn't matter who that information came from. We have that information now, right? So we have it. And now we look at look at where we are now. Now he's got to be making up stories about us. And it's going to be interesting to see where he takes this. I'm really interested to see, like, what happens next, you know? I feel not, like he's a full pen mode. <laughs> yeah, there's not much that he can do. He's probably sitting at his own round table with his people being like, guys, guys, you know, like, what can we do? You know, we can only lie for so long. They can only do so much, bro. They can only do so much, bro. You think about it, bro. He's probably yeah. giving us another video soon, you know. <laughs> you know, you know, he serves to our page, right? Because <laughs> yeah. they can't you know. sue us. They can't take us to court. They can't harm us. Nah, hell no. That means, they can't, that means nope. have to give them a you know. What, what yeah, can they do? They don't put us in time out. The thing is, like, they're, they're, they're characters, bro, so they can't do anything. They're not even real people. That's what, that, that's what a public figure is. They're really not a real person. Exactly, bro. All they're going to do is uh, strike fear in us, dox us, like, like they doxed us before. No. When you're talking nope. to the souls, man, don't be scared of these frauds, man, for real, man. Stand up for the truth, the truth, the truth.